Hayden, does this look like a shield to you? It may not look like one now, but it's about to. See, my brother has a cool shield. It's big, it's heavy, and it's so cool. And I'm gonna make my own shield using these supplies. Ready, set, shield. Wait a minute, this doesn't feel anything like my brother's shield. This feels like, like not a shield. Who, who? It's Ollie. Hello, Hayden. Who, who? Is something bothering you? Yes, Ollie. I'm a little sad that my shield I made doesn't look or feel anything like my brother's shield. Shields are cool. Yes, it's true. I know a boy who was brave without one. Who? Who? Listen up. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Wow, Stormy, you are so brave. You walked past all those big dogs and didn't bark. Great job, Stormy. Here's your treat. <laughs> oh, hi friends. I'm Carrie the dog walker and this is my best dog, Stormy Jane. She was just so brave on our walk today. Hey, you know what? That reminds me of a story. Do you wanna hear it? <laughs> well, Stormy does. Today's true story from the Bible starts with a boy named David. David was a shepherd, which means he took care of sheep. And David had to be very brave to protect his sheep both day and night. David knew that he could be strong and courageous while he took care of his sheep because God was always with him. Well, one day, David went to visit his brothers who were in God's army. And while he was with them, David heard this really big, really scary giant named Goliath saying mean things to God's army, the Israelites. Goliath teased the Israelites. No, 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 no. Who's gonna challenge me? Well, the Israelites were so afraid. Show me your afraid face. Yes, all of the Israelites were so afraid. But wait, didn't we just talk about someone who was strong and courageous because he knew that God is always with him? What was his name? Yell it out on the count of three, ready? One, two, three. Yes, David. Do you think David is going to be brave enough to challenge the giant? Well, Goliath came out and teased the Israelites again. He said, who's, who's gonna, gonna challenge, challenge me? me? And David said, I'll, I'll do, do it. it. Everyone was so surprised. David was not a soldier. How could he challenge the giant? But David knew something important. David knew that he could be strong and courageous because God was always with him. They put armor on David, but it didn't fit and it was too big and heavy for him. David said he didn't need the armor. He knew God was with him and that made David brave. Then David took a slingshot and five smooth rocks and went to challenge the giant. Goliath said, who's gonna challenge me? Me, said David bravely. Goliath said, <laughs> you, you're just a kid. So David took out his slingshot and said, Goliath, you may have all your big weapons, 
but God is with me. Then he put one rock in the slingshot and slung it right at Goliath. The rock hit Goliath and knocked him all the way down. God's army was so excited. David had saved them from the mean giant. Let's celebrate too. Hooray! <laughs> I knew David could do it because he knew God was with him. God helped David be brave both in the field with his sheep and on the battlefield with Goliath. And God can help you be brave too. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who can help you be brave? God can help me be brave. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can help you be brave? God can help me be brave. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. God helped David be brave, and God can help you be brave too. Thanks, Ali. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, God was with David, and that made David super brave. And he didn't even have a shield. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it. Good. You know, I don't need a big heavy shield to be brave. And I'm going to write God is with me on this shield so I can remember I can always be brave. See you next time, bye.